Welcome to ghetto side of Milwaukee. <laughs> no. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, this is the build up towards uh, Friday for the uh, PGO US in Milwaukee. Um, enjoy. So Sunday, so Sunday, I basically spent training and packing. Um, everything were, went uh, went good, and uh, you know the last thing I had to find was my passport. Funny enough, the, I couldn't find my passport. I put it in, in the same place all every time uh, when I've used it, and it was not there. Then I remembered I had to like recently I had to use it for something online. Um, so it's been laying around on my table for a long time and. My mom was like, yeah, she she kind of remembered it to be on the on the table when when she came by a week ago, and um, yeah, it just wasn't there, and I was stressed out completely. Um, had people coming helping me to uh, like search my entire apartment uh, for the fucking passport, and it was just not there. Um, and I had to fly on Monday, so you know I was kind of stressed. Yeah, so basically um, we were standing there. Uh, Mitch and I discussing uh, possibilities Sunday night at like around midnight which was it was not that bad because I was trying to change my time zone so it was basically yeah time to go to bed anyway but we were sitting there uh, canceling our flights to uh, the US um, because and trying to just find a, a plan B because obviously you can't get a passport that fast uh, that was what we thought and um, yeah, I looked up for other races I could do. So plan B would probably be European Championships in uh, in uh, Tallinn or something. Um, woke up Monday and um, went to uh, municipality, um, and they will. It was like she she was she was the uh, the OG uh, down there. She she was very cool. Um, just told me like yeah, it's. We, we can figure out like making a fast passport and you pick it up in Copenhagen and then go to the airport and fly. So we can make that for tomorrow, Tuesday. Did that. I went home and was like, okay, we figured things out. Um, and they, she said like, yeah, they would call, make sure I get a visa and all that stuff as well. Next day I, I wake up, that's Tuesday. So I, I had like all the flights and all that booked for Tuesday and I wake up in the morning, go to the, um, yeah, basically I called my mom over, so she had to make the drive just to help me out, because otherwise things would be way too tight. Uh, I, at 10.30 I had a time at the municipality to, to do the passport thing. At uh, 12.30 I had to pick it up, and 3.30 I had to be on a plane flying to the US. It was it was tight, but I I was like I was positive. Um, I was hundred percent sure I could make it. Um, <clears throat> I go to the municipality, and it's not the same lady as it was the day before. And she was not as uh, willing to how can I say help out, be flexible, um, which is very nice. Uh, that's own. It, it, it's not because I pay a shit ton of tax to do stuff like that, so, uh, you know, gr great vibe down there, at least. I, I even brought a bottle of wine to say thank you to uh, the lady who was there the day before, and I decided not to give it to the, to the lady, like, the new person uh, there, because it was just, uh, sh yeah, not the same kind of help I received. Um, well, we got the passport made and I, or not made, but all the, the details and I went to Copenhagen, drove with my mom, um, picked it up, everything was good. I then checked the visa because she said like, yeah, we can't, we can't like sign up for a visa at the municipality. And I was like, shit, 
because I know like Esther that also takes some time to uh, to be accepted, and I wouldn't be able to check in before I had the had the Esther. So the first thing I did when I got the passport was like, okay, I have to I have to apply for Esther, and I did that. We went to the airport, went to the check-in lounge, and Cecilia was there in the uh, in the check-in lounge. Um, very kind uh, and lots of uh, lots of help, uh, I'd say. So uh, shout out, thanks a lot, Cecilia from SAS. Um, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry, but we can't check you in, and it's not accepted yet." Oh shit! And she said, "But I'll check it like the next uh, hour or so, uh, and then um, and then I'll call you if uh, yeah, if if it's accepted and." I tried to call all sorts of people from the states to ask if we could like speed up the process and so on, but no, nobody could help. Um, my mom was standing there next to me, uh, almost crying uh, because of stress, and Mitch was like, uh, <laughs> also pretty stressed out. Um, I was just sweating a lot, so uh, good thing I didn't wear grey. Um, Otherwise, that would be Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> um, and then I got the call from um, Cecilia from the desk that it was accepted and uh, turned out one hour before our plane left. I could check in and I could go to the States. So now I'm here in amazing Milwaukee. <laughs> Like, I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough Fuck buffing my nails, dog. I'm trying to get buff Fuck shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff And fuck the hills, cause I'm like Motherfucking made it <laughs> I'm gonna meet my wife in the club We gonna see though, I feel like she more of a CEO Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature I don't play goalie, but So what do you rate the flight? Uh... I'd say, actually, we had some pretty cool um, fights over Solitaire and uh, Sudoku. Uh, so it will be around 4 out of 10. And tell me about the Solitaire. Yeah, it didn't. It was like, um, it did not deal the cards probably in the, uh, in the draw, so uh, it always changed making it impossible to win. How many which, hours did you Which was a good thing, because I think in, uh, in, in total we spent two hours trying to beat the machine. <laughs> Las Vegas could, uh, could learn something. What's up? What's happening? Where are you at? In Chicago. And? Um, I'm at Daniel. <laughs> You look pretty thrilled to see me. And you had a great flight and everything went perfect? I got upgraded to business class. Well, that's gotta make up for something. Yeah. Why did you go for the direct flights from coming? You never invited me. You're allowed to check <laughs> online yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the short story is I don't have any luggage. Oh, or a bike? No luggage. No bike, no nothing. Salva, can you get me a bike? When will it, when will it get here? I don't know. It's you, dude. It's not you. It's not you. It's you. You just farted the most nasty fart I've ever fucking tasted in my life. What's happening? If We're trying to fit all the luggage into an Uber for the second time. It was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never go maintain because they don't love it. 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 This is it, baby. 
Don't put that camera in my face once again, otherwise I'll bust a cat. Oh my goodness, in America. <laughs> America. So this is uh, Miki. He's my friend. Yeah, the vlog seen him before. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so what's up right now? <clears throat> um, yeah, basically just uh, all my equipment is in my bike case, so uh, I want to get that stuff out. First day here, what's the plan? Um, I think we'll uh, we'll go swim. That's the only thing Miki actually can do right now, because uh, Lufthansa fucked up his baggage mm. once again, so he's here racing for a uh, $100,000 pre uh, prize money um, bag and Lufthansa just didn't deliver his bikes or, or suitcases or anything. <laughs> it's useless. But he's got speedos. But we, but he's got speedos. But I talked to, I talked to Mitch about it yesterday. The fact that we are 2023 20, and everything is like basically every area of our life is kind of optimized mm -hmm. but yet again we still check in and we still do that stuff in the airport like we did in 2000 mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it d does not really seem like there's been any like growth or development only to, only for the worst when it comes to baggage handling because we always get our stuff and then something is broken or you know it's just crazy how terrible Airlines are handling suitcases. Welcome, we welcome. So what is that? Um, that's Athletic Greens AG1. That's um, actually my new partner. I'm re revealing. Um, it's kind of strange because it's a new partner, but I've used the stuff for almost a year now. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of not really new to me. Uh, I just think it's a great supplement and um, it's a good start to the day just to kind of have that habit of being uh, being kind of uh, healthy. You know, it's uh, often when I travel, I've found it like difficult to just immediately go to go, you know, have some healthy foods and also when you're in, in the States, especially other places where you feel like all the, you can almost taste all the pesticides and all that shit in, in the food, then uh, it's nice just to have something that is, uh, you know, it's healthy and, and helps you. Um, so that's why I've used it. Yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like uh, both my bags should arrive tomorrow at 3.30. We'll see you tomorrow at 3.30, but right now I'm one heavy, man. That was good news. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yes, it was fucking awesome. Good thing there was not a clock here, but... I'm tired hanging out with people who are in a bad mental state. Out for a bike right now. Jens was here to fix, fix my bike, tune it up, and then uh, 
now we'll head out and have some fun. For all, namely, welcome. Sir, wake up, welcome. Dimmeru, Selam. Or be a win, men, alien, rabbit, on bunch from a few lamakeras. Hey, so what do ya hear in fuck ya? Loco, car, hold up, punch, and Kalina, Momo, ya come up, man. Som Joko, 1, 2, 3, kan kvadron hen Koko Velkommen, overalt er vi velkommen Jeg føler mig velkommen, overalt hvor vi kommer vi velkommen Velkommen, overalt er vi velkommen Backstage er vi velkommen Op op på scenen er vi velkommen Daniel, what does it mean to you that you've recently been named in the top 10 sexiest triathletes alive? Who the fuck named you there? Fake news? No, you are. But what does that make you feel? I... Uh, Was this nomination done by Mitch? We I think it's... Fake I, think somebody, uh, I think somebody created fake news there. I could think of the first 50 triathletes who are hotter than me. Men. Uh, We're talking male. Ah, uh, yeah, then I'm... You know, then I'm in the top three. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh about that. Beauty also comes from within. Okay. Do you think you have that inner beauty? Or are you mostly an external beauty guy? I can only t talk from experience. The fact that the only thing that is in Miggy's inner that is uh, like rotten, basically. So at least I beat Miggy in that, in that part from inner beauty. I've heard I have uh, beautiful eyes. Uh, a triathlete uh, uh, actually told me that. A, a girl. Well, a girl? That was a girl you, talking to me. You talked to girls? No, no. I, I didn't. I, stu I just stuttered and was standing there like I didn't know what to do with myself. Fair. But she talked. Maybe two, she, she spoke two sentences, I think. So what are we up to right now? We're discussing whether I look like a top G or not. I would say absolutely yes. Please your votes in the comments. <laughs> That's a YouTuber thing to say, right? Yeah, good yeah, job. Perfect. Good Thanks. job. So what are we headed off to do right now? Uh, swim fam. Swim fam station. We're going to try out the swim course. Are you looking forward to it or? Yeah, it's going to be super fun. I'm super excited. Fun. Yeah. Okay. This will be the first proper thing I can do prior to the race. Are you going to race? Yeah. Oh. So, do you like Australian exits or would you prefer a different method? I love Australian, so yeah, of course I love the Australian exit. Dang. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Ready to race? Yeah. Good? It's gonna be good. Good? Good? Magnus, what are your thoughts on uh, Milwaukee? Cool place. Okay, now your real thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, he's been media trained. He's been media trained to this guy. Is that what you want? Be easy, nigga. I lay your ass out. Believe me, nigga. That's what I'm about. Gangster. You can find a nigga sitting on chrome. Hit the clutch, hit the gear, hit the gas, and I'm gone. Yeah. If I can't do it, homie, it can't be done. Now I'ma let the champagne bottle pop. I'ma take it to the top. Show I'ma make it hot, baby. baby. I'm down for the action. He's smart with his mouth to so smack. Woo. You hold your strap, you might come back. So yeah. grab him. React like a gangster, die like a gangster. Come on. Cause you can hit an homicide and be asking what happened. Oh no, look who crapping with the foe. Oh, 20 inch rim sitting on low, bro. Uh -huh. East side, west side, you can know. Yo, I'm low, bro. Even my mama saying something really wrong with my brain. Niggas uh -huh. don't rob me, they know I'm down and die for my chain. It was good? Yes. Yeah. It was. <laughs> I think it's uh, one of the nicest, uh, like, uh, sea swims. Nice. Lake swims. Oh, there's beard everywhere. <laughs> Only because I want more chester. <laughs> <laughs>
baby. I ain't been out to teach lessons to slow learners. Go ahead and act up, get smacked in the head with the burner. So, that's it for today. That's it for today, baby. What's up? <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> but we have to keep going for a half an hour more. Sleep in tomorrow. Do the bike stuff. Go fix the uh, race ranger on the bike. Go back, sleep. And then I'm just gonna get coked up on caffeine. That, that didn't sound right. Well, see you tomorrow. It's race day. Stay tuned. Hope you liked the video. All that shit. Um, from now on, by the way, we are going to say fuck it to uh, that music stuff. We don't make any, any money anyway. So uh, we're just going to fire all my my uh, favorite songs there. And um, it's going to be fucking lit. You're going to love it. Seriously, I love it right now. So you're also going to love it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, my race predictions for tomorrow. I'm going to win. Uh, that's it. Ciao, ciao, babies.